Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Quant, we are trading at $132.94, 24-hour volume, we're up 13%, and market cap, we're down 3.81%. So heading over to our daily chart, we were talking about in yesterday's video, this parallel channel and the next course of action when we saw the price up here, especially with that hammer candlestick that we saw, the projection we were going to anticipate was for the price to retest this area of support. And it is an area of confluence, just basically meaning that there's an area of um, you know, interest around the bottom of this trend line. So most importantly, one, treat it as an area of support. And two, it is seeing like it is going to interact with our 50 moving average here. And again, moving averages are treated as support and resistance lines. So it is going to be a high confluence area. One of the things that we could anticipate is we see that the volume is increasing. Our OBV indicator is increasing as well, but the overall market is showing us a sell market. So we may push the body in today's candlestick closer to the bottom and retesting this area of support. As we can see on our right-hand side here, the MACD indicator has opened a second wave with the dark red color, but most importantly, the volume that goes into this indicator or this histogram negative 2.3 here is what we're looking at now again with our rsi here we can see that the k line does not look like it's increasing or getting further away from our d line itself it is anticipating or we are looking into a possible sell opportunity here if the blue line comes below our d line here as example from over here on february 3rd so if that does indeed happen then we are going to be pushing this body even further down into a retest of our support line. And as in our last video yesterday, we were talking about supply and demand zones using our volume profile, which are these white lines or these white nodes here. Again, looking for that supply, looking for that demand here. And ultimately, again, if we move away and close below this area of our nodes, we are going to be seeking out the next area. And we could debate either if it's below below you know, $120 or $121 where we see this node sticking out, which is our POC area. Or we could debate if it's these nodes here that it's gradually getting into the next area where we see larger clusters. So either this point here, we could. And again, you can already follow the cursor over to the left-hand side, pinpointing the area of confluence where we see the 50 per the 50 moving average and the bottom of our trend line, which does add a little bit more influence at this crucial area here. So if we're continuing to come down, we see the body increasing as well. It is only going to be favoring the seller's side and we are going to be retesting that area of support today. So that's my quick video here for Quant. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for tuning in as well. See you guys next time. Bye.